Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. And today, we, we're going to hurry up and get this one out the way because Prim just dropped this one. And I got to get ready for work. I'm already uploading my videos for the rest of this week as we speak. But I guess I can get this out to y'all now as soon as possible. But yeah, here we go. What happened in Vampire in Brooklyn? This is with Prim. Let's get it, man. Our new our new season. Our new season of Prim starts with Vampire in Brooklyn. Two days after Halloween. Wow, Prim. You couldn't have put this out on Halloween? Spooky season over now. We don't we don't care about the scary movies no more. It's over. We moved on to the holidays, Prim. It starts off with some hood movie narration. That's typical. Of course they did that. It is a hood movie technically, right? Story by Charles Murphy? Oh wow. So this should be funny, right? Charles Murphy? It's funny, right? A long, yeah. long time ago. Don't, don't do Charlie Murphy, Murphy like that. RIP to Charlie Murphy. Don't do Charlie Murphy like that. find the one known offspring of our tribe that had been born in a foreign land. Somewhere in this place called Brooklyn. So the story is, Eddie Murphy is like the last vampire in the world. He needs a vampire wife to save the population and there's actually one more living descendant from his tribe. It's a half vampire lady living in Brooklyn, New York and now he's gotta find her. How the hell you even know where she live at? Your ass from Transylvania or something. How do you know there's a vampire lady in Brooklyn? We reach New York City and this a giant fucking ship vampire, crashes dude. into the docks and it almost hits these two workers. <laughs> They're played by John Witherspoon and Kadeem Hardison. They some all stars. They the only funny parts of the movie. It's really bad. John Witherspoon boards the ship to see what's going on when he realizes the whole crew is dead. Then he gets attacked by Wolf Eddie Murphy. That's right, Wolf Eddie Murphy. Can vampires do that? I thought they just turned into bats or whatever. Like already, they starting with that bullshit. His powers don't make sense already. Jesus, Mary and Jojo. <laughs> we cut over to Kadeem Hardison, who's back in the city trying to escape from this Italian dude he owes money to. Hey, don't worry about it, Julius. Nobody's gonna miss you. Dude. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? The hell? Who the fuck are you? I'm Maximilian. Shut <laughs> Vampire Murphy shows up now in this random alleyway to save this random person he doesn't know. That's fine. This wig though is not oh fine. My God. This whole costume is awful. It's not scary. You like goddamn holiday hearts. They call this nigga Halloween heart. Hey yo, hey yo, man, get this movie out my motherfucking face. Get this movie out my motherfucking face, bro. In order to turn him into a ghoul zombie person. Now he's like a sidekick or something. Vampire Adventures in the hood. Again, shout out to Kadeem Hardison for at least trying to inject some comedy into this shit. Yeah. It's not working though. I won't tell nobody I saw you cause, cause I ain't really see you. You know I'm blind. I got stick to this man, I can't see, I'm blind. Where you at? Hey, what the fuck you doing? Oh. Welcome to the party, Judas. Wait, you gonna be sucking my neck? You're my hey, yo. I need you to help me find a woman. So he's really gonna do this generic ass Dracula voice the whole time? This shit feels racist against vampires or somebody. You don't got the accent right. Nigga, vampires so don't exist, Prince. What the fuck are you talking about? I wouldn't about? be so hard on this movie if they weren't playing it so straight. Like, Eddie Murphy barely has any jokes in this. At least in his vampire form. 
but we'll get to that. But yeah, I can't believe it. They playing this shit like a straight up horror. That's crazy to me. Eddie Murphy was the biggest comedian of all time. Give this nigga some jokes. Why is he not being funny? Why he can't just have a role scary? where he can just do Eddie this? Eddie Murphy, come on, bro. You gotta try hard. See, see, Prim, you a, you the type of person is uh uh to typecast people. Have you ever heard of this uh phrase called typecasting, sir? This is why black actors struggle to break out, bro. There's a reason why black actors struggle to break out and really do something because it's people like you that typecast them and always want them to play the comedy role. And then when they want to do a serious movie, they can never be taken serious, bro. You the, you, you the reason, Prim. You the fucking reason, bro. Stop. Let, let people experiment. Let people try to do things. You always bringing people down, bro. Instead of just giving them a chance to really break out. Now I will admit this ain't the best of movies. You know what I'm saying? But it's 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 still considered a classic. It's still considered a classic. I wouldn't say it's a hood classic, but it's still considered a classic. It's it's, it's built its own cult over time. You know what I'm saying? It has built its own cult over time. I will admit that it has built its own cult over time. It's not a hood classic in my personal opinion, but it's 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 definitely a cult classic. It's built its own cult, so there. But I I, I just feel like where you going with this? You basically saying that Eddie Murphy can't do, can't expand his his horizon as an actor. He has to always be the funny guy. Come on, bro. Let him let 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 Eddie Murphy experiment. Let him cook. Let him let him get in the pot. Let him let him put the ingredients in the pot, man. Let him figure it out. You don't always have to play the serious role. Don't always have to play the action hero role. You know what I'm saying? Why 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 can't Eddie Murphy experiment with this? Come on, G. Harder than this? This stupid ass old lady outfit. It's not scary. You look like Hobson, grandmother. So Dude. Eddie Murphy takes his new sidekick back to the shipwreck because he's got to retrieve his coffin. He gets to show off some more of his ridiculous vampire powers too. It's so random, bro. He's got magical dog exploding abilities. That is actually pretty funny. Still loves to fight. Jump. I really miss my nigga. Jason Lyric in the movie, and so is Angela Bassett. They play two cops hey, investigating the shipwreck. Dog. Angela Bassett ends up finding the coffin, and now she's getting haunted by this fake ass Cat Williams. It turns out that Angela Bassett is the vampire lady he was looking for. Remember, he came to New York to, to find a girlfriend or a wife? Hey bro, that's the plot of Coming to America. It's the same thing, basically. We should just watch that movie instead. Why am I watching this shit? Why, why, why do you always do that, Prim? Why do you always do that? Why do you always have a better suggestion, but then you do the other? Then you do the opposite of the better suggestion, bro. If you was going to do Coming to America, can you just do Coming to America, bro? Why are you sitting up here watching this so you can, so we can hear you bitch moan and complain, bro? Come on, Prim. Trying to win her over with his. We starting this new season of Prim off on a bad foot, bro. I'm telling y'all. Happening, nigga. Misunderstood. I'm Max. Oh, Rita. You know who this is? This ain't Nick Ashford, baby. This is Max the Million. All right? This motherfucker got a pussy surplus, don't you, baby? Solid as a rock. I see you again, Rita. In your dreams, Max. Angela Bassett is looking for clues on how to stop the vampires or something. Eddie Murphy's been following her around the whole time, but she goes into a church and he can't go in after her. Now he's got to think of a plan. Preacher Polly. Yes, I'm Preacher Polly, and if you've been misbehaving, Preacher Polly's here for safety. Fuck you, man. I'm not fucking playing with you, nigga. Uh -huh. is necessary. 
necessary, thereby, if necessary, Eva, Eva must be good. Oh, hell no. Is this a nutty professor prototype suit? Hey, this shit yeah. looks horrible, bro. It looks like styrofoam. And this part not even funny, really. You put all this shit on your face for nothing. I hate this movie. Eddie Murphy yeah, as a vampire in the hood should be hilarious. Why is this not funny, bro? I don't understand. Why this can't even he the worst expand the out? Bro. You haven't even seen the worst of the makeup yet. Turning into my best ever. <sighs> Fucking magician, what you got a love in there? You give me a fucking wallet. Come on! I love this place. Jesus. Oh, you fucking holy White face. White face Eddie Murphy. White face Eddie Murphy. Oh, so but when they do black faces, this is what I mean, Prim. You always doing that whole shit, bro. You always when it's when they make fun of us, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Make an Asian joke, make a Mexican joke, make make a white joke. Oh, that's racist, that's offensive. But when they make a joke about us, you laugh at it, and then you add on effects to it. To add on to it. Nah, bruh, nah, bruh. It, it, it shouldn't be like that, bro. If, 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 if white face is wrong, then why is it that when they tell a black joke, it's, it's, you add on to it, Prim? Stop with the stop with the propaganda, bro. Stop with the propaganda, bro. Please stop with the propaganda, bro. I told y'all, Prim got them sponsors for a reason, bro. Genders. I just want to watch a fun Halloween comedy. This is not it, bro. <laughs> Who are you even supposed to be? Then watch the goddamn Hocus Pocus, nigga. What the fuck? If you wanted to watch a Halloween Halloween uh comedy, nigga, watch Hocus Pocus. Watch Casper the Friendly Ghost. I nigga, the fuck. There are plenty better movies out here you could have did, bro. Why are you? Let me shut up, bro. Let me shut up. I don't get it. This nigga look like Moist Critical. Get out. Like most unfunny 90s comedies, there's a lot of racist ass humor. And not the good racist humor, where it's like funny and thoughtful. This shit is like Italians eating spaghetti type shit. Oh, you fucking holy shit. Nice too, huh? Hey, we need some pasta here, Fusilli. You garlic boy, get us okay. some Fusilli. Baby, hey, watch it, John Chef. I'll put a hole in your ass. All right, I take back what I said about adding more comedy. If this is the comedy, y'all can keep it. This Italian costume is low key scarier than the fucking vampire costume. I'm not even joking, y'all. I guess these characters are just here so Eddie Murphy can do his stick and he can keep the vampire character serious. That's really stupid, though. He's not scary. He's still doing his classic Eddie Murphy facial expressions and shits. What is this performance? It's not funny. It's not scary. So what is it? It's not anything. They focus a lot on the romance too, which makes it so much worse. They going on sexy vampire dates or whatever. Who would go on a date with this nigga? Gotta go? Something, yeah. But oh, I mean, you've, you've been to so many places. There's no place you can go. No place the subway doesn't run. So Angela Bassett gets turned into a full-on vampire and she's out here wilding now, eating white people and shit. Meanwhile, Jason Lyric is still in the movie, surprisingly. He's being a hater, trying to ruin their vampire relationship. He links up with some vampire hunters to figure out how to stop everything. Major cock blocking, bro. That's not cool. I knew Rita's mother, detective. I was in love with her years ago. Much as she is human, she's now also a predator. Bro, why don't you just explode this nigga like you did the dog? You can still do that, right? Clap Does that only work on dogs or what? You got a bunch of goofy ass powers. Jason Lyric should not be whooping your ass right now. At this point of the story, who is even rooting for Jason Lyric? Like, who cares if he wins? He's such a boring character. I don't even care what happens to him. 
Angela Bassett fights her vampire urges and she and Jason Lyric end up killing Eddie Murphy for good. Kadeem Hardison finds one of his vampire rings left over and that turns him into a vampire now. All right. If it's that easy to turn into a vampire, why is their population so low? The whole point of coming here was to make more vampires, essentially. You could have been doing that. No. No, man, this is Max's shit. <laughs> That's right. There's a new vampire in Brooklyn, and his name is Julius Jones. Go in the house! Yeah, this is not it, bro. Shout out to Charles Murphy, but yeah, this is not it. I appreciate some of the effects. The ghoul makeup was pretty cool, I guess. Not this ghoul. That's not the ghoul, bro. From what I hear, behind the scenes in this movie was a nightmare, and it kind of shows. Wes Craven, the director, wanted to make it into more of a comedy. Eddie Murphy is actually the one who suggested they focus on the horror, or so the rumors go. That was an awful decision to focus on the horror, whoever decision that was. They didn't do anything. But why is it that Eddie Murphy couldn't take a chance and experiment and just go on his own route? I'm all for, I mean, I understand it didn't work. But I feel like if it wasn't going to work, if the dynamic between the director and Eddie Murphy wasn't going to work, then just get a new fucking director. That's really what they should have did. If they couldn't come up with a, a with a, 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 just get another director, bro, to make this work. There are, there are many more horror film enthusiasts out there that Eddie Murphy could have went to, bro different really there's not even that many kills it's just a cliche ass vampire movie and the only thing they had going for it was eddie murphy's jokes and there were none also apparently they had a stunt woman die on the set while filming this oh, she yeah, was I supposed to jump that. off the roof onto an airbag but she missed the airbag for whatever reason and that was it i don't want to dive too much into that rest in peace sonia davis y'all can go look that up if you want to i don't know man all in all this is a cult classic. People out there enjoy it for some reason. Give it a watch. You might enjoy it too. That's it though. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Special shout out to the Patreon homies. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Instagram. All that. I'll see you next time in the next Hood Movie Adventure. All right, just hope. Yeah, man. I, I I'm all for somebody trying to expand their horizons because I, I, if you don't know, a lot of black actors can't find work these days. A, a, a reason, a big reason why a lot of these black actors from the '90s and the 2000s, the reason why they end up doing straight to Tubi movies, low budget Tubi movies or straight to DVD movies, and you'd be like, damn, that was a good actor. how they end up here? It's because in how you know how Hollywood works. They like to typecast you for shit. If you do a movie, or if you do a TV show, or if you do a movie, okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, Carlton from Fresh Prince. Have you ever seen Carlton from Fresh Prince in any big movies? Okay, no. Okay, Urkel. Have you ever seen Jaleel White in any major movies knowing that he actually is a good actor? Or any TV shows where he has a dynamic role that's different from Urkel? No, it's called typecasting. Typecasting is the biggest problem in Hollywood. They pick and choose who they want. And it's hard to do anything else because the only other options you have is a Tyler Perry movie. And the problem is a lot of people don't want to work with Tyler Perry because they don't want to be typecasted. You know what I'm saying? T Tyler Perry movies are a last resort. And a lot of, uh, especially for a lot of actors that really are just trying to elevate and go on to do bigger things. They get stuck with the, hey, you can either do the Tyler Perry movie or you can do this low-budget Tubi movie. And a lot of them go with the low-budget Tubi movie because they can expand and show their range as an actor. So 
I don't like how. So my problem, the only reason why I have a problem with Prim and what he's saying is because I don't. It, it, considering the fact that Hollywood is on a strike right now, they're on a strike right now. And a lot of this has to do with the typecasting shit. A lot of people are getting typecast. A lot of people aren't finding work. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just, a lot of people, a lot of people are, 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 a lot of actors, bro, they deserve so much better. They get that one role, whether it's a Carlton or it's Braxton from the Jamie Foxx show. You know what I'm saying? Or it's a... Uh, it's a uh, fancy from the Jamie Foxx show, or it's Hillary from Fresh Prince, or it's uh, Tommy and Cole from uh, Martin. You know what I'm saying? Like the reason why these actors are never seen again after their biggest and major roles is because they're typecasted as such and such. They don't these 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 TV shows don't look at you as nothing more than a Carlton or they don't look at you as nothing more than a Tommy or a Cole or Braxton or 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 or, or uh uh Damn, what was homie's name? Um or they don't look at you like home like like big homie from um that was on Juice and the Wayne Bros. They typecast you, bro. So it's hard for a lot of black actors to find work, bro. And, and, and that's my biggest problem. It's like, I wish... I, it's, it's dope to see when somebody tries to elevate. Even if they don't do a good job, it's still nice to see that they actually tried to show their range. And gave it a shot, and that's the best that, and the best that, and that's the best that you can hope for is that they just give it their best shot. And even if it don't work out, and they revert back to doing what they did, which is what Eddie Murphy ultimately ended up doing, still it doesn't take away from their great. It still shouldn't take away from their greatness. But that's just me though. I'm gonna leave it right there for right now. Tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, Vampire in Brooklyn, like I like Prim even said it himself. It's not a hood classic in my personal opinion. I wouldn't consider it a hood classic, but it is a cult classic. It's a cult classic. It has its own following. It's a pretty good movie. It's solid. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's bad like Prim trying to make it out to be. It's actually a pretty solid movie. It's just you know, I can see why the direction and. You know, I wish that Eddie Murphy would have just found another director that he could have worked with to make it more serious. I could tell that Eddie Murphy was trying to, he was trying to will his way into another world. That's because you got to remember, they did try to cast him as Candy Candyman at one point in time. So, but nah, it, it is what it is, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him if that was the case, but I feel like. I'm just so tired of it, it just sucks that a lot of actors uh never get their chance to break out and you know when I just I just hate that. I, I wish that a lot of actors would be in better roles than what they are now. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is though. I'm gonna leave it right there for right now. I'll see y'all in the next video till then. Peace out.